Miss Megan here. Welcome back to another awesome week of science. So I'm super excited. Science is one of my favorite topics. So we're going to do a really fun science experiment. It's actually going to be a two-part science experiment, and you actually won't know the conclusion of it till next week. So I don't want to show you right now because I want to give you the chance to do it by yourself. Okay? But first, before we get into that, I just want to go over a few quick things. As we do more and more of these science experiments, you're going to hear me say a couple of the same words. So I figure we just go through them really quickly so you guys know as well. So I have four science terms that I want to go over with you guys. The first word are materials. So materials are all the items that you need to do your science experiment. Okay, for example, this science experiment, our materials are going to be a glass, an egg, and some vinegar. Okay? Our hypothesis, I know it's a tough word right there, hypothesis is going to be what you think is going to happen in the experiment. The steps are exactly that. What do you do first? What do you do second? What do you do third? And lastly, conclusion. What is the conclusion? Was your hypothesis, your guess as to what's going to happen, was it right or was it wrong? So let's get started. Alright, so this experiment requires only a few materials. Like I said, a glass, an egg, and some vinegar. Make sure you please ask before using all these. But this is a really simple experiment. Now, I don't want to give away too much, but I've done this a couple times before. And every single time, it's come out awesome. So here's going to be your first step. Gently take your egg, I'm going to turn my glass sideways, and put it in gently. Okay? Now, you can use either a jar for this experiment, a glass, anything that you guys have. I don't have a jar right now, so I'm going to use a glass, and then I'm going to put a cover on top of it. Okay? The next step, now that I have my egg inside the jar, I'm going to open up my vinegar. And I'm going to pour enough in so it covers the egg by about two fingers worth. Alright, so now that we have our egg in the vinegar, see up close. See what's happening to the egg. You see all those bubbles. And I want you guys to come up with a hypothesis, okay? What is your guess? What do you think is going to happen? I'm going to leave this egg, and if you're okay with it at home too, I want you to leave your egg in the vinegar for five days, okay? Five whole days. And every day, without touching or taking it out, I want you to check on your egg. I'm going to name mine Egbert. You guys can name your egg, and I want you guys to email me what you guys think is going to happen to our egg. Some guesses could be it may float, it may sink, it may crack, it may get bigger, it may get smaller, it may even become see-through. So go ahead and email me what you guys think. I'm so excited to see. And just to wrap up, I put some saran and a rubber band over the top, so that way nothing can get in, nothing can get out, and nobody can bump into it. See you guys next time.